It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this video, we're going to continue with our journey down the VR beginner, the escape room from Unity Learn. In the previous videos, we covered these first steps. Now we're here. Add teleporters for movement. It'll take about 20 minutes to do, and this is video is going to walk you through it. So let's click on continue. Now that you've explored the example prototype room, you're ready to work on your own VR experience. In this tutorial, you'll create your own prototype room scene. Create a new teleporter, configure the teleporter, and test your changes in VR. Let's go ahead and mark this step as complete. Before you begin, in this tutorial, you'll use the VR Beginner Unity project and your VR headware. Before you begin, open the VR Beginner Unity project. We have that open here. Check that your hardware is ready. If you're using Oculus Link with the Oculus Quest, enable and connect this now through the Oculus app. If you have a PC, you can download the Oculus software and you can use Oculus Link. I have a Mac, so I have to select Build to deploy from Unity to my Oculus Quest. Go ahead and press Mark Step as complete. Create a new scene. Create a new prototype room scene. The Unity project includes simple prototype room scene templates, so you don't need to begin with a completely blank scene. Create a new scene using this template. In the top menu, go to VR Kit. Create new prototype scene. VR Beginner, create new prototype scene. Choose a name for your scene, then select Save. By default, the scene name will be Assets My. You can see it's an Asset My Scenes, and this is gonna, I'm gonna call it My Escape Room, and press Save. Your new scene will automatically load and open in the scene view when you have saved it. Mark step as complete. You can see my scene is actually open. Create a new teleporter. Now that you have your own prototype room, you can begin to create a custom VR experience. The first step is to create a teleporter so the player can move closer to one of the two simple box tables. This will make it easier for them to pick up the interactable objects scene. Create a new teleporter base for your scene. In the project window, navigate to Assets Beginner Prefabs Tutorial. So we're gonna to go to Assets VR Beginner Prefabs Tutorial. And you can see that's what we have. Drag the teleporter base prefab from the project window into the scene view. So you can see I have here, this is the teleporter base prefab. I can simply drag this into the scene. In the toolbar, select the move tool and position the teleporter base next to one of the two simple box tables. So I already have one here. I've already done that, but say I could move it. Let's say I wanted to move it over here. I can move out there. Press Control S to save your changes. So Control on a Windows, Command on a Mac, or you can actually go to File, Save, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this step as complete. Configure your new teleporter. To configure your new teleporter, in the hierarchy, select the arrow to the left of the teleporter base game object to expand the view of its child game objects. Make sure that the teleporter base still selected over here this is my teleporter base. You can see I'm dropping this down. It has an acre, a beam, making sure that I'm selecting the teleporter base. You can see they give you a picture here. In the inspector, select the add component button. Search for teleporter anchor and, and select the component from the list. Over here, with my teleporter base selected, I'm gonna do a search for teleporter anchor and I'm gonna select that. You can see the script shows up. They show a picture of it here. At the top of the interactable event section of the component, find the on first hover inner list. Select the add button. So we're looking over here at the top of the interactable events. You can see on first hover inner. And I'm supposed to press the plus button. So I'm going to come here and select plus. This is what it looks like. You can see that is what it looks like. Drag the teleporter beam child game object of the teleporter base from the hierarchy to the none object in the on first hover inner list entry. So you can see it says none right here. It wants me to drag teleporter beam. So this selected, I'm dragging this to the none part like that there. You can see they have a video to show you how to do that. 
In the function field, select the drop down menu, go to teleporter aim, start highlight. This is a custom script which provides a fade in and fade out effect. I'm gonna to come to this and I'm gonna select teleporter animation, start highlight. So here, teleporter animation and we want start highlight. You can see they show you a picture. In the interactable event section of the teleporter anchor component, find the on last hover exit list and select the plus button. So on hover enter, on hover exit. So you can see they have on hover exit, but they want us to find the on last hover exit. So, you know, they have a lot of different events here. Make sure you're selecting the right one again. On last hover exit. We have it here on last hover exit and select the plus button. So here I'm gonna select plus. As you did before, select the teleporter beam game object and hierarchy and drag it to the none object field in the list entry. So they want me to drag again here. So I'm gonna click back on teleporter base. That right here, I'm going to click and drag teleporter beam into there. In the function field, select the drop down menu, go to teleporter animation, stop highlight. This will stop the special effect after the teleporter is used. I'll come here, teleporter animation, and I'm going to select stop highlight. And again, they kind of show you a picture there. Press control S to save your changes. So I'm gonna do file save or command S or control S. And I'm going to do mark step as complete. Test your new teleporter. To check that the teleporter works properly, if you have an Oculus Quest without Oculus Link, create an Android build to test your changes. For all other devices, press play on your toolbar to enter the play mode, put your headset on. I have Oculus Quest with Mac, so I can't use Oculus Link. Oculus Link is only for PCs, but I can create an Android build, which will deploy this game to my Oculus Quest. Move the directional input on your controller for it to activate the teleporter beam. Use the controller to touch the teleporter beam with the teleporter beam. Release the directional input to move to the new location. If you are testing from the Unity editor, press play on the toolbar again to exit play mode when you finish testing. Remember, changes made while Unity editor is in play mode can't be saved. So let's go ahead and try to do this. First, I'm gonna go ahead and press mark complete and we'll wait for the summary. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna go to file, build settings and unselect that. I'm gonna do add open scene which is my scenes, my escape room. I'm going to my Oculus Quest. I'm gonna do build and run. Again, I'm just going to save it at the same name. I will replace that. It will actually build this to my headset. So here you can see I'm in the room. Let me get rid of these controllers. So I'm gonna do my hands. Okay, there we go. And there's a little teleporter beam. I can look around. I can see the table. There's a little box. Let's try to teleport. And there you go. Um, okay, I teleported over here, and again, I can still kind of look around in my room. Now that we're done and it actually deployed, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Seven, in this tutorial, you created, configured, and tested teleporters for your VR experience. Next, you'll add and configure your choice of an object. Let's mark step as complete. Woohoo, you've completed this tutorial. Keep going in the VR beginner, the escape room project. Continue to next.